What is going on everybody? It is Sam here and today I'm going to teach you how to install the Dragon Mounts mod for Minecraft 1.8 on your Mac. Here we go. So before we get started you need to have Forge 1.8 installed and your library folder needs to be present in your user folder. If you have not done that stuff already, please watch the videos that I've linked in the description below. One is for the Forge 1.8 tutorial and the other one is for how to get your library folder in your user folder. However, if you have already done that, we can continue. All right, so the first thing you need to do is open up the first link in the description below, which should take you to a Minecraft forums page. The forums page should take you to the Dragon Mounts mod page. If we scroll down, we will find our mod under downloads right here. Make sure you are looking under where it says 1.8. You can either click this link, which is the ad fly link, or you can click the direct link. I'm just gonna click the direct link because I don't wanna go through the ad process in this video. If you're using Google Chrome, it'll give you this warning, just say keep. Let's get out of Chrome. All right, let's drag our file to the desktop. Now I'm going to open up Finder, click library, application support, Scroll down to where it says Minecraft, click on your mods folder, drag the dot jar into your mods folder. Now let's get out of here. Now open up Minecraft. Make sure your Forge profile is selected, then press play. So I apologize in advance, but if you hear a fan that will start to run in the background, that is my laptop. The laptop gets pretty warm when Minecraft starts. If we head into our mods tab, we can see that the Dragon Mounts mod is there. Great. Let's click done. I'm now going to create a new single player world. Okay, so here has been the issue with this mod. This is not an easy mod to use. As a matter of fact, I was unable to really find any commands on the Minecraft forums page on how to use this mod. However, if you are able to find it, please let me know. But here's what I know so far. If I type in slash dragon, these are, this is the template, this is the base for what you use if you wanna use commands related to the mod. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give myself a dragon egg, not like that, like this, I get one dragon egg. Now what I do is I place it and I can double click it. And now what I can do is I can do dragon stage child. That does not work. I've tried adult. I know adult works. Let me try adult. And as you can see, adult works just fine. I'm going to get a saddle now, and I can place the saddle onto the dragon after I've trained it. And you can train the dragon with raw fish. So I'm going to give the dragon a ton of raw fish. And as you can see, a bunch of hearts should appear from it. Take a look. As you can see, it's following me for the raw fish. It wants the raw fish. And now if I can get up here, I can put the saddle on it now. And there we go, the saddle's now on it. And I believe, if I remember correctly, to fly it, it's R and F. As you can see, R lets you fly fly the dragon. R makes you go up, F makes you go down. That is the inventory key. <laughs> Make sure not to get those confused. And I think you can change these controls in your Minecraft controls menu. If we go into options and then controls, we can see we can change this F and R right here. You can change those controls if you want to, but we're just gonna leave them like that. And in one video I saw, you can actually use a carrot on a stick to actually guide to guide the dragon. As you can see with the carrot on the stick, I can tell the dragon to go high or low. And this is, obviously the flying isn't terrific, but at the same time, this is a neat mod nonetheless. Let's see what I, what I can do if I can crash my dragon. Oh, I can't do that. All right, so now the dragon has landed. So the minute you land back on the ground, that should work. So as you can tell, not a uh, not a super smooth mod, but at the same time, you can fly dragons, which is pretty sweet. And ladies and gentlemen, that is all there is to it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.